Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets YouTube tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create channel art for your YouTube channel. So this image up here at the top of every YouTube channel is YouTube channel art. And it's basically a way of branding your YouTube channel across different devices and platforms that YouTube is available on. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this image for free and then how to upload it and add it to your YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or you get lost while we're doing this, check the description because I'll have a detailed write-up as well as links to all the websites that I discuss. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. There are two different tools I recommend that you can choose from while doing this. The first is going to be Snappa, and then the other one is going to be Canva. Both of these have free versions, and they're very easy to use, and they're compatible with just about every device, including Windows 10 computers, Macs, Chromebooks, and your phones. In this tutorial, we'll be going over Snappa just because I think it's a more powerful and easy tool to use. But if you don't like it for some reason, I recommend checking out Canva. It's also a great tool. So the first thing you need to do is go to snappa.com and I will have this link in the description. Then go ahead and create an account by selecting get started free. Once you have your Snappa account created, go ahead and select create a graphic. Once this page loads, scroll down until you see headers and then find YouTube channel art. My favorite thing about Snappa is that they've created several pre-made templates that you can go in, edit, add your brand images, add your logos to, and then you can download and use that as your YouTube channel art. So if you want to start with one of these templates, you can already have a very good looking channel art banner created for your channel. What we're going to do in this tutorial though is create one from scratch. So we're going to select this box that has a plus symbol. So once the tool loads, let's go over how everything works here. So this area right here is where your channel art will be displayed. And this is where you edit it as well. The white area right here is the part of your channel art that will be displayed on every single device. And what they've done is they've kind of grayed out the areas that are only displayed on specific devices. So as you can see right here on the sides, these are called tablet safe areas. So you'll be able to see that part of the image on a tablet. Then on the sides, they have max desktop area. So if you go to your channel on any of these different devices, you'll be able to see more of the channel art. But really what we want to do is focus on this area right here of the channel art, because that's what's going to be displayed on every single device. So just as a quick example, I'm on the Gaging Gadgets YouTube channel. And as you can see, this is the channel art right here. So I have my logo kind of centered, but depending on the device that you're on, when you're viewing the channel, you might see more of the left or the right or of the channel art or the top and the bottom if you're on a TV and you view the channel art. So it's just something to think about. You want to have the contents in the center of your channel art and then maybe have your background extend beyond that. So now that we understand this area of Snappa, let's start creating some channel art so that we can see how to use everything. So we'll start with the background. And this is where you would change the background of your channel art. So they have tons of free background images here that you can use. And as you can see, it changes pretty quickly. You also have the option to use things other than images. So they have patterns as well. So you can use any of these. You can upload images if you'd like as well. And you can also do solid colors. And one thing that's really cool is you can also search keywords for images. So I'm just going to search watch because the channel I have is going to be smartwatch tutorials. So I'll go ahead and choose this one right here. Now the next tab we have over here is going to be effects. This is where we can kind of change the background image. So you can, as you can see, you can change all of these to make it look different if you'd like. I'm going to darken it just a little bit. The next tab we have is going to be text. So we can select the text tab and then we can add a heading, subheading, or even body text. I'm going to add a heading. And then as you can see, once we, once we added that, it adds it to our channel art. We can then drag and drop that text wherever we want. It's going to highlight the text, and then I'm going to start typing out the name of my channel. Change the color of it so it's easier to see. I'm going to change the font real quick. And then make it bigger. Now, if you make a mistake or anything while you're creating your channel art, you do have the undo option up here, which will kind of reverse what you did. I'm going to add some more text, but I want it to look exactly the same as this text. So I'm just going to use the duplicate layer option right here. Then I can just drag it over here. And then change that to tutorials. So now I'm happy with the text that I have. I have the title of my channel displayed on my channel art. Now, if you wanted to add any graphics, anything specific to your channel art, you can do anything from social media icons. They have tons of free icons in here and images that you can add to your channel art all for free. 
You can also add photos if you wanted to, some of the background images as well. You could add those as another layer, just as a graphic. And then you can upload images as well. I'm just gonna add an icon for the logo of Apple, because I'll be doing tutorials on their smartwatch. Put that in the corner right here. And you can resize it by just dragging the corner right there to your desired size, and then you can move it around as well. After we have added some graphics, we can add any shapes we want to as well. So if you want to add any shapes, maybe lines. You can do that very easily and drag it, reshape it if you need to. All right, so I've completed making my channel art. Now all I need to do is download it so that I can upload it to YouTube. And we do that by selecting save over here first. Make sure that everything that you've done has been saved to Snappa, so I'll do that. And then once you've saved it, you can just go over to the download button and select that. And I recommend downloading the high-res PNG that's a little bit higher quality, so it should look the best. Now you just need to save it to your computer. Now that we've saved our channel art to our computer, we need to go back to YouTube. Once you get to youtube.com, make sure you're logged into your YouTube account. Then we need to get to our channel page. You can get here by simply selecting your channel icon in the top right, and then selecting your channel. Select that. Now to add our channel art to our YouTube channel, we need to select Customize Channel. And then you'll see this right here, select Add Channel Art. If you've already added channel art and you don't know how to change it, just simply select the little pencil up here and then select Edit Channel Art. Now what we need to do is upload the image we just downloaded from Snappa. So we need to choose Select a Photo from your computer, then find our channel art on our computer. It'll upload it. It's going to give us a quick example of what our new channel art will look like on all the different devices and platforms that YouTube can be seen on. So a desktop, a TV, and then a mobile phone. You can adjust the crop, but if you use Snappa, you won't need to do that. So all I'm going to do is just finish this up, save it to my channel art by selecting Select. Now it's going to save it, and there we go. We have our new channel art. Now to view it on our channel, all we need to do is select My Channel over here in the sidebar and we can see our new channel art on our YouTube channel. So that's how you create free YouTube channel art and then upload it to your YouTube channel. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more YouTube tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.